This is something that needs to be discussed. I've spent the last 12 months talking to people who have done the carnivore diet, and I've put together a list of the side effects that they have experienced. And in this video, I'd like to share those with you. And this is important to watch for anyone who's considering starting the carnivore diet, if you have just begun the carnivore diet, or if you're in the middle and you're wondering what's going on. So just before we get into the video, guys, do me a massive favor, please smash like and also subscribe. This really helps out my channel and it enables me to be another voice out there talking about the carnivore diet. Let's now talk about the side effects of the carnivore diet. And the results have just been phenomenal. I mean, starting at the top of the list, of course, my arthritis pain is 95% better. My spinal stenosis is 95% better. Um, my type 2 diabetes is gone. My fatty liver disease is gone. My stage 1 chronic kidney disease is gone. And, in, you know, I was originally hoping to be able to stand for more than two to two and a half minutes without severe pain. And about three weeks before I came home from North Carolina this year, I did a 15 mile trail hike with a 20 pound backpack. And I went carnivore and I haven't looked back. It's been amazing. My skin has cleared up drastically. I've always had really bad skin. So that's been awesome. No gas, no bloating. So that's great. My two big ones would be the food freedom, which I know doesn't make sense. A lot of people are like, well, how do you have food freedom? You're not eating any of the foods. But to me, food freedom is mentally being free from obsessing about foods. Before, you know, I would, if there's like a, a box of donuts, I would either try not to have them or I would have them and binge on them and then restrict the next day. Or maybe I was tracking my macros. So I would track one, but then constantly be thinking about having more. Now, now that that's out of my diet, I, the desire is not even there. I could be around them and have, I, I don't want them. Like that's just done. So going like the mental gymnastics I would go through obsessively thinking about those foods was exhausting. And now I just feel free of it. I don't even think about it. I mean, I'm excited and I think about my ribeye that I'm going to have, but I feel like it's a positive thing and it's good for me and it's nutritious. So that has been life changing. And the other thing, and I didn't even know this was to be expected. I didn't go to carnivore thinking this would be a benefit, but I was able to go off of my Zoloft, which is a medication for anxiety and depression. Um, it just didn't stop my depression from really hitting me hard you know so i would come home from work and i would kind of freeze um didn't know what kind of days i would have from one to the next it would there would be very kind of just unpredictable really i i didn't know what kind of me i was going to be how how life would feel um and just kind of coped coped with it as best as i could up to the point where i i, I was quite desperate in the end I, I i had to reach out for help and it's something I didn't want to do because I, at that point I did realize meds aren't going to work. They're not sustainable. It's not going to cure the issue, but I don't know what's going to happen with me if I don't get help. You know, it was, it, there were some pretty dark thoughts and, and dark times for me. And uh, I was sitting on the couch watching YouTube and Michaela Peterson's anecdote popped up and I ended up viewing that and I, I just couldn't believe it. It's not like I thought it was a sign necessarily, but I definitely took it as an opportunity. You know, this whole carnival concept, because she talked about her mental problems and her mental health also, you know, autoimmune issues and things like this that had all just miraculous, miraculously been eradicated or at least 90% improved. So I just thought, you know, I have to try this. I'm, I'm desperate, I'm willing to try anything. And it was at three weeks when I couldn't believe that my depression had just lifted. It was crazy. Uh, my, my depression was gone and I, I couldn't believe it. I felt incredible, um, happy, like smiling for the first time. Like, like you're aware when you're smiling, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, and, and that day it was just like, why am I smiling so much? You know, and I have all this energy. I feel incredible. Yeah, six months. I actually just weighed myself today. I've lost, 
80 pounds in six months oh so far. Within four weeks, I was able to ditch the walker. I was able to start walking as of today, which tomorrow technically is my six months. I can walk over two miles every day. Um, I can fit into the car seat with the seat belt on. I can put on my own socks and shoes. I can go up because we live in a three-story house. I can go up to the three, third floor and back down without any issues. My knees hurt. I had severe, severe rosacea and skin issues, which you can see in my original videos. Um, that's probably like 90% better. My joint pain is 80 to 90% better. I'm no longer a type 2 diabetic. Um, my fatty liver is healing. My triglycerides are less than half because they were like 350 or 360 when I started and they're below 150 now. But I still continued to gain weight to the point where in 2015 on my wedding day, um, I was about 200 pounds. Again, I'm 60 inches. I'm five feet. I was diagnosed with, of course, I was obese. So I was clinically obese, but I was diagnosed with sleep apnea, high blood pressure. Um, I was never tested for diabetes or pre-diabetes. Um, so I'm not sure on that. I wouldn't be surprised if I was heading towards that direction, but I was, I was fat. So in total, I lost 65 pounds. Um, most of that was because of low carbs. Um, I was of the belief that you need carbs because that's what we're trained. I was also of the belief that keto is very unhealthy and I was anti-keto because that's how we're trained. Um, but the more and more I uncovered the more and more I realize this is how I should be eating. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I feel amazing. I'm 65 pounds down. Um, I no longer have digestive issues. I didn't know I had digestive issues. Um, I knew I was bloated because um, I felt that, but I didn't feel anything else until I no longer have gas. I go to the bathroom maybe once a day. I'm regular. I don't strain. So I had no idea. I, I even had digestive issues. Um, um, I did have anxiety, which was actually exacerbated looking back on the vegan diet. At the point where I was at, I was at like 200 and almost 10 pounds. And I'm not like very tall. So I was very upset with how I was looking. <laughs> and um, so we have the fact of how I felt about myself. Maybe the weight is an issue. The weight was maybe like how I felt about myself and how I felt about my body was... I wasn't happy with that. Within a week of starting carnivore, I don't, I think all the digestion issues were handled and I lost 12 pounds my first week. And I'm like, okay, this is cool. This is easy to stick with. This is fun. That's correct. I, I was 457 April the 17th of 2022. And I weighed four, uh, excuse me, four, 225 um, on April the 17th of 2023. So in, in 12 months, it, it, it's, it's unbelievable. Nice when, I walk, <laughs> when I walk by the mirror, I'm like, I have to take a double take sometimes. Cause I mean, you know, honestly, I, I, I talk about it a lot. And as I explained to you, you know, I started the YouTube talking about it and I get so, so tired of talking, you know, about my weight, but it's such an unbelievable thing. And I love being able to share that, you know, so people, there's, a, there's a, so many people have, have told me like, well, that's what I need. You know, that's the condition that I'm in and I'm losing that hope. And that's where I was at. Mm. So I just love, you know, sharing that to, not so much to be like on me because there's no way that I could have planned that. I didn't say, well, I'm going to lose 200 pounds this year. I just had gotten to the point where I was hopeless. I was grasping for whatever I could grasp to. And when I came across this way of eating and had it explained to me at first I thought it was crazy. And then when I finally grabbed a hold of it, it was like, man, this is amazing. 2017, I had a heart attack. Uh, main descending aorta, 99% plugged. Uh, fortunately, uh, it was stentable. And about a year, year and a half later, uh, I needed another stent and a little different artery but i avoided the heart attack that time um and uh the first time I, my weight was up to 267 that's the highest it's ever been and obviously this was a big wake-up call to be doing something about my weight
and uh, weighed myself a couple of three days after starting. I was down a pound or two. Uh, and that rate continued. Matter of fact, it started to accelerate to almost a pound a day for a while. It's now kind of leveled off more to a pound, pound and a half every couple of three days, which is a more sensible rate. Within days, I was noticing just unbelievable results. I tell people about it now, too. And I, I'm like, no, I'm being serious. <laughs> That's what happened. The first day that I was on it, um, I stopped snoring. And I'd been snoring for a year. And then I just started noticing a lot of other things, uh, a lot of other improvements very, very quickly, which was a surprise to me. I thought it would take a couple of weeks before I would notice anything like that. I just broke 200. I got down to 199, which was kind of awesome getting into the 100s. Um, and now, so now it's been 45 days. That was 15 days ago. And I was just really stoked this morning. I weighed myself. I'm at 193 now. So I dropped another six, uh, another six pounds nice. since the 30 day mark. I've never in my whole life waken up, uh, so relaxed. Like my legs are relaxed. My body's relaxed. Like I'm almost jumping out of bed. I have, it, I, it's, I've never experienced it before. I was, I was talking to someone and I was telling them, when I was younger, I got glasses for the first time. And I remember walking outside and looking at a tree and I was like, oh my goodness, I could see every little leaf. And I'd never seen that before. A tree to me was always all blurry. And I think that's kind of how I ended up in my life here where every day I'd wake up groggy and tired. And that was kind of my new normal. I didn't know that there was anything else beyond that. It's just like, that's the normal, the tree's blurry, but yeah, it completely, completely changed things. I don't ever want to go back to that before that. So Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.